Hello, uh, welcome to the fourth part of the lesson. Let's finish today uh, and I want to tell you a bit how to achieve a fractional effect. This effect can add more realism to your render and more control to the look of your geometry. Basically it's just a relation, a ratio between the direction to camera and the point normal. And how we can calculate that? So basically I prepared a small diagram showing how it's working. So it's all based on the dot products between vectors. So let's imagine we have green cam vector, vector looking from point to the camera and a normal vector. And this relationship can be easily calculated using the dot product. So if I start to rotate the normal vector, you can see how the value of dot product going from 1 until 0 and if it's facing to negative direction it's going also to negative range. So basically that's is kind of easy. So let's start doing that inside of our shader. Till now we worked already with vertex shader, with geometry shader and now it's time to start with a pixel shader. So let's open it and define a new function. Uh, this function should return float value. Float personal and it will take three arguments. So first argument vector 3n for normal vec3 cam vector and last one will be a float power so because we don't want to make the linear relationship we want to have a nonlinear relationship so we're going to use a power function first let's calculate the uh, dot product we're going to make a new variable float and dot c for camera is equal max zero dot between n and come back we make a max zero for cutting the negative value so we want to stop at zero and next part we're going to return the value of the next calculation we want to make a power function from one minus n dot c Let's put it inside of round uh, parentheses and the second argument will be the power. Voila. So now we need to make some additional uniforms. Let's decide what we want actually to control by fractional. So I would like to blend U metallic and U roundness and maybe also have an additional color variable which I want to blend using the fractional. So let's make U base color front and U base color side and for metallic and roundness we can make a vector 2 in order to save place in variables. So now it's time to define these variables here. So let's make the unique uh, U base color front and U base color side. And for roundness and metallic, we just going to control the second fields. We need also to add the power variable here uniform 
Fresnel. Power. Let's follow the rules and add you. Fresnel power and it should be float. And semicolon on the end. Then we going to change a bit the shader code. Okay, we can take this normal and cam vector is calculated here. So let's move this line to start after normal. Then we could calculate the Fresnel here, float Fresnel. Let's make Fresnel factor is equal Fresnel between normal, comma, view vec, comma, Fresnel power. Let's make the value of power something like three. Now we can calculate the base color using a mix function. Mix base color front RGB U base color. side and rational factor closing the round parenthesis let's check why it still doesn't work implicit cast from vector 4 to vector 3 in 50 vector side dot rgb 56 vector 2 to float that's because we should also change the roundness and metallic. And now we also add the mix function here and just make mix u metallic dot x u metallic dot y comma rational factor same for roundness dot x dot y comma and mix on the start and let's check what undefined variable u base color okay last part is because we don't mix it the alpha so let's just take also mix u base color front a comma u base color side a and Fresnel factor and now we can play with the colors with metallic parameter so we can reduce the metallic on the side Re increase roundness and play with a fractional factor to see the results. So that can make much more interesting look than just a standard PBR shader. As usual, you can download the uh, source file on my Patreon. And if you are interested on more detailed learning of GLSL, you can check the description to this video and go to my shop to find the full time
touch designer GSL courses. Thank you.